the channel as you guys can see today we are here at gp1 racing and i'm going to be tearing apart the civic after i just got it back from fab sounds crazy if you haven't checked out the last video be sure to do so where i take it to jokey racing over in tampa florida they helped me do all the fab work under the hood i had to do the piping get the intercooler mounted tons of a lot of little details to be honest that needed to be done so he helped me out with that now the car's back here i'm gonna be tearing it apart like i said prepping it for paint overall so that's really the goal and the purpose of me tearing it apart is so i can get the interior painted so i can get the cage painted and the car's gonna get wrapped guys so i don't know if i've told you guys this yet i think i've already mentioned in a previous video but i'm going to be wrapping the car i am currently working on a design at the moment so i don't know exactly what it's gonna look like or all the details on it but i do know the color scheme so i won't share that yet <laughs> now the car is pretty much what will soon look like its final form and it's pretty much ready for paint so after i get this back from paint i can put everything back together and there should be no more welding there should be no more modifying at all like it's just gonna be the same setup i have right now we're just gonna drop it in there and finish up like a lot of little things like the plumbing um, which we're also working on today. I'll have a lot of the lines, water lines and stuff like that done. A lot of little details, guys. There's basically starting a brand new build. Like I'm starting this from scratch, essentially. Everything is pretty much brand new. The engine before was non-lean, which means the engine just sits normal. And now the engine is lean, which means the engine sits a little bit forward like that. And the purpose of that, there's so many different purposes and reasons behind it. But one of them we use it is for more weight towards the front. This car is front wheel drive still. So we want all the weight to be you know as much as it can in the front another reason and benefit of us going lean for our drag cars is it just makes more room in the engine bay the engine sits more forward so the turbo manifold design is a little bit different making it easier to kind of like work on things you can access the trans a little bit more easier pretty much like i said the setup is completely different now uh, that's why i had to do all the piping over and i couldn't reuse anything from the last build because nothing is the same now that the engine is lean right now i'm going inside i'm going to be tearing apart the car i'm starting from the rear to the front because mark right now is helping me make some lines so i'm gonna let him do his thing up there while i go ahead and remove the wing and everything else that i need to get powder coated and stuff that just doesn't need to be on the car for paint off and here you can see it off of the car it looks really cool so I'm gonna continue to break this down even further and take it apart so that way I can get the bars coated and I'm gonna get this entire thing coated as well black even though this will probably be wrapped with the car I don't want it to be silver underneath so I was like let me just go ahead and coat this entire thing it's probably gonna be like a matte black that's what I'm thinking so I'll be getting that done soon literally took me an hour just to get this set up off and I still have a ton of more stuff to get off I haven't even worked my way to the interior where I have to take out the seat. All these carbon fiber panels need to come out. Uh, keypad. Literally, the car needs to be gutted like to a complete show with nothing in it. So it's going to be fun.
right guys, next day here, quick update. So I got the wing off yesterday. I got everything here that I'm gonna be getting powder coated. I still have so much to continue to remove from the car. I mean, the interior from the back, it's pretty much good to go. And then I still have to remove the shifter box. We've got the brake pedals that I can remove. I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. Unfortunately, some of these carbon panels were riveted in to the roll cage, so I can't physically remove them. I'm going to have the body shop help me with this because I don't want to break these little panels trying to remove them. Uh, again, all of it has to come out because I'm getting this whole entire cage painted so the more that i do on my end the faster i'll get the car back because then it's less work for them to have to do removing this stuff so interior i would say we got about a solid like 10 percent left before i can really say that the inside is ready moving on to the engine bay guys this thing's looking like it's about to run <laughs> but while i was working in the interior and removing the wing and doing all that stuff yesterday i had mark up here helping me complete all the fittings and all the lines um, so things are looking pretty good here. So again, when we get the car back, pretty much the point of me doing all this now is so that we don't have to do that later on. So today we're going to be finishing the interior and then removing everything from the engine bay. So as you guys can see here, this all had to be welded. So the paint had to be removed. So this is why I'm going to have to paint part of the engine bay. Because once we get these bars painted, you're still going to have all of this in the background. So fortunately, the entire engine bay is probably going to have to be repainted. But to keep things simple, I'm going to keep it blue and just have this match the same bar that's in the inside. Don't want to announce the color yet. You'll have to stay tuned. If you know me, you probably know what I'm picking. Um, I can't wait to see it all come together. I just can't wait to get the car back from paint because that's it. Like from there on out. When I get it back from paint, I gotta do all this all over again, put everything back in the car, but at least it'll be exciting because it's getting one step closer towards starting the car where this was like, just not fun because now I have to do it all over again. At least when I get it back, it'll be a lot more fun. So let's go ahead and start by breaking everything down. guys civic is officially out of here what a freaking day yesterday huge shout out to mark for helping me get the car ready for paint now i have to do a long drive back to orlando and take the car to paint so i'll be showing you guys where the car is going and what we're going to be doing but before i head out and before i show you guys the car and it's what it looks like right now because it looks like a complete shell i'm gonna go ahead and take this turbo apart because i want to get it coated so let's go ahead and do that All right, so I have the inlet cover off, and this is the part that actually gets powder coated. Really nothing in here. All the important stuff is right here. So this is what you wanna make sure you protect and take care of, because this 
is um, super sensitive and it can get chipped or whatever. And then your turbo won't work. And there goes money. Got the interior completely gutted. Like I said, only thing I couldn't get out were these since they're riveted onto the cage. So he's gonna have to help me get those out. But otherwise, this thing is literally a shell. An expensive shell at that. It was fun getting it on here because of the cage underneath. Let me show you guys on this side. As you can see the roll cage underneath the car. So that was fun, but got this thing loaded up. Again, huge shout out to Mark from GP1 Racing. Time to head back to Orlando. All right guys, finally made it to Orlando City Auto Body. You guys have to check them out. They're here in Orlando. Brought the car here a few times. It's actually where I got the frame put on the car when I had my accident. So I'm here going over the car. They're gonna be painting the inside and the engine bay for me. Um, so I'm really excited. I got some, some stuff to think about. We went over some colors and ideas and he's asking me if I wanna change the blue. And I'm just in my head like, so hard guys. I started with the blue EM1. Like I don't wanna lose that. And I actually like the blue a lot. So part of me is like, wants to keep the blue but we'll have to see what i decide on gave me a few really good ideas so can't wait to see stuff come to life this is pretty much i don't want to say the final thing because there's a lot of little stuff but this is the last major thing that's going to be done on the car once i get the car back from paint and the cage is painted and all this stuff is taken care of then it's all on me now put the engine back in put the trans basically get everything back running and um like i said i'm gonna be leaving the wrap for last so Regardless, I'm not painting the complete exterior over, but he basically was telling me that if I wanted to, you know, change the engine bay color and the door jams and the inside, he could do that. That way I could do any kind of wrap that's gonna match. So, things to think about I'm in my head. I'm in my feelings right now just seeing this blue because it, it's so nice. Like, I really like it a lot and I think it's just more sentimental to me because this is the car that really started my drag racing journey. So, yeah, but I do want to stand out too. There's a lot of other blue cars in the field. You guys saw Drew's car. You guys see JBR's coupe. We're actually gonna look like twins because we have the same exact Franks front end and everything. So I'm gonna be doing something that's gonna separate myself, but I just, again, I don't think I'm ready to let go of that full blue color. So we'll have to see. You'll have to stay tuned to see what I come up with. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me tear this car apart, but at least you guys are part of the process. You know what's coming next, and I'll be showing you guys hopefully in a few weeks what the car looks like because hopefully we're gonna have a quick turnaround with this so like i say guys trust the process never give up i'll catch you guys in the next video